guys, in today's video, we are going to be transforming my bedroom for fall into Christmas. I'm a little bit sad about it because I absolutely love the way that my room came out for the fall bedroom refresh. If you haven't watched that video, definitely go check it out. It's still fall time. There's still plenty of time to decorate. But you know, as an influencer, we always have to be a month ahead so we can give y'all tons of ideas for the next season. So we are going to be transforming this room from fall into Christmas. Now, I'm a little bit embarrassed about this, but when I had to pack up my Louisiana house, I had an entire attic full of Christmas, y'all. And I sold pretty much all of it, except for a few totes of stuff that I just could not part with. And I'm really trying not to fill up the attic here full of stuff. My husband is probably going to think that statement is hysterical, but it is true. So I figured today I would unbox the items that I already have and see if I want to use them before I go out and purchase more. I packed these boxes up over the summer, so I do not remember what's in them. So I figured today we would just unpack and see what I have and use that and then see where this bedroom makeover goes. For the fall bedroom refresh, I had a very clear vision and I had everything ready to go. And I feel like this Christmas edition is the opposite. Okay, these are some curtains. I told y'all, I had a whole attic full of Christmas. I was very extra. I would change out my curtains. <laughs> it did look amazing though. So I don't know, should we change? The curtains in here, they're this beautiful kind of off-white color and then they have this red striping. I got this many, many years ago from um, Target, but I'm not sure if the length is going to be correct. I'm pretty sure that the curtains in here is 108, so um, I'm not positive that's going to work. Anyway, those are cute and I definitely kept those. <gasps> Y'all, I love this painting. It's one of my favorites. We spent a summer near Amarillo, Texas, and you know I spent the whole summer thrifting. And this is one of the pieces that I found and I'm just obsessed with it. This is one of the pieces that will always be in my Christmas collection. <sighs> These are some pillows that my cousin made. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. Um, Chanel snowman. I actually have some of these available on my website because I love them so much. I asked her to make some for me to sell. So these are in my personal collection and I need to add to them because the ones I have currently on the website are a little bit different. So I feel like I need some more. <gasps> these are also from that summer in Amarillo. I love these. It's not something I come across. Uh, often around here and I love the green they just look like little Christmas trees so I had to keep those this is an ornament that I made it says Oak Harbor which is the name of our subdivision that we lived in so when I cleaned out the attic you know I had lots of crafting stuff up there I thought I had sold every single ornament and I did except for this one for some reason that one was still up there so I'm like this is mine, I'm keeping it forever. So these are our stockings. Those are obviously not gonna go in this room, but something I had to keep. I oh, love this pillow. I think this was from the first year that Joanna Gaines had a collection at Target. And I just loved this pillow. And this always would go in um, on my bed in my master bedroom back in Louisiana. So. I don't know, I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna put this pillow on my bed or if I wanna put my beautiful drop cloth pillow that is also part of my collection on my website. Oh, I love that pillow. Maybe I can just use both. Maybe I can put both in this room. Y'all, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at these ice skates. This is something that I also thrifted. I don't remember where, but it's something that I never find. So I kept these. I don't know. Oh, they will look cute on those hooks back there. Okay, I think we can find a spot for these in the room. Oh, this is a picture that I made in college. I took a lot of ceramics classes and I got rid of most of the stuff that I made, but this is perfect for Christmas time. So that's going to stay in my Christmas stash forever. 
And then I have this. This is actually a tablecloth, but every year I put it on my bed like a throw blanket. And I love this. So I kept that. So I have one more tote under here, but it's all greenery. So we'll look through that in a little while. I did thrift one thing so far for this bedroom makeover. Ugh. Do y'all remember that, I, that sale that I went to in Arkansas? It kind of sucked, but I did get this beautiful, chunky, king-size bedspread for $10. I just knew that it would be perfect for this bedroom refresh. I mean, look how good that's going to look. So I think I should just get started and make the bed first. And while I'm making the bed, I'm going to tell y'all about the sponsor of today's video, Birch Living. We have been having our Birch mattress since over the summer, and I can tell you, we absolutely love it. Your Birch mattress will be delivered for free within the U.S. right to your front door. And with each Birch mattress comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows made of recycled plastic bottles. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. Birch mattresses come with a 100 night sleep trial along with a 20 five year warranty so if you don't love it they will come pick it up you don't even need to put it back in the box which will probably never happen anyway because as you can see as soon as it comes out the plastic it immediately starts to expand so y'all be prepared for that so if you don't love it like i said they will come pick it up and give you a full refund another great thing about birch mattress is it's made with organic and natural materials i am a hot sleeper so i need all the help i can get to stay cool and the organic materials definitely help keep me cool and regulate my body temperature also, unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses makes it hypoallergenic. So it is both allergen and mildew resistant. So like I said, we love our Birch mattress and I think you would too. So if you are in the market to purchase a new mattress, y'all definitely go check out Birch. I will have a link in the description or you can go to birchliving.com slash julie's designs and they are giving my viewers four hundred dollars off and two free pillows so definitely go check it out i feel like you know we're getting there but i think i need to remove all of the fall before i can move on so let me do that all right, fall is officially out of my bedroom, so it is time to bring more Christmas in. I think we should go through that box of greenery, see what I have that I can use, and I also ordered a new print to go over my bed, so I'm gonna show y'all that. Greenery is expensive, so I definitely wanted to keep some pieces that I have that I love, y'all. I have a ton of this. Um, it was a few years ago, Walmart had this and it was $3 and I bought everything that I could find because I love the mix of greenery and the pine cones. It's just completely my style. So I have a ton of those and I was not getting rid of it. Also have, I did splurge on these, these beautiful greenery picks. I got these from a boutique in Piapart, Louisiana, where I'm from. It's called La Maison de Fleur. And I will um, link their boutique in the description because they have very beautiful, unique pieces of home decor and they do ship if y'all wanna check them out. So I have those I can add in. I also have a ton of Christmas trees and lots of different sizes. They just come from all over the place. You can't go wrong with little Christmas trees. So I have a bunch of those that I can use. And I think I have one more pick in here. I believe this one's from Walmart. I like that it had a little bit of white, a little bit of the berries, and actually that berry doesn't go with it. That's a rose berry and <laughs> a little pine cone. So like I said, I think these came from Walmart as well. And all of these I would stick into my Christmas tree, but I think I could make my own little garland up there on top of my bed. So I'm going to do that. The only thing I'm missing is I don't have, I like to add in a little bit of bread and I don't have any berries in this box i don't know if they're in another box so i'm gonna do that but let me show y'all the artwork that i ordered 
This is from Country Lane Living on Etsy. It is the same place that I got my fall print from and I loved it so much that I wanted to order my Christmas winter print. Whoa, it looks so good. So on Country Lane Living, you can order digital downloads and just print them out yourself or they can print them for you. So I wanted something that would carry over into the winter time. So I thought this print was beautiful. And then it also has a little bit of burgundy red in it. So I figured it would tie in for Christmas as well. So let's get this hung up and make a garland. That was easy. I just put the winter print up exactly where the fall one was. Now I'm going to make my garland the same way I made the fall garland. So I'm taking all of the picks of greenery and I'm taking some jute twine and I'm tying them together. So instead of all these picks being loose, it'll all be together. And I also took a little bit of tape and taped some of the sprigs to my headboard just to make sure everything stayed in place. So once I was done, then I took some of my other picks that I had and just started adding them in and arranging them until it looked exactly the way that I wanted. All right guys, I am absolutely in love with a garland. Definitely DIY your own garland, then you can customize it to whatever style you're going for. And then you have all those picks to use elsewhere another year if you wanted to change it up. Super easy, I think this looks like a $200 garland. I love it also, love the print, but I'm having an issue. The red, the bright red looked really good in my other home, but I'm feeling like this house is more of a burgundy red. So I'm thinking tomorrow maybe we'll head to Hobby Lobby and Home Goods and just get, you know, a few new Christmas items for this house. You know, not enough to fill up a whole attic, just just a few new things. So I'm gonna end the video here for today. I'm gonna stop filming because the kids are about to get home from school. But I'm gonna continue to put out some greenery and some Christmas trees and those cute little ice skates and the few other things that I had that way I can really see um, what else I need and we can go shopping tomorrow. Life happens and I do not have time to stroll the aisles of Home Goods and Hobby Lobby just looking at all the beautiful Christmas decor like I had planned. So we are doing an 8 p.m. Target run, which Target is still great and I think they're going to have what I want. So let's go check out Target's Christmas selection. Okay, let's check the dollar spot real quick, see what they have. Also, I was in such a rush to leave the house, I realized I left like this. That's embarrassing. Hopefully, I don't see anybody I know. <laughs> this is cute. This is a little garland. It has all the different greenery that I love in it and some pine cones. This is $5. Oh, these are some pretty picks as well. These are three, and I like that it has little blueberries. Oh, I like these little mini trees and I like that they are different than the ones that I already have. I might grab one or two of these. This one has a little bit of frosting on it, but they definitely look a little bit weird. Oh, look at this. A 30 inch unlit PVC tree is frosted. I wonder what it looks like opened up. This is the Christmas bedding section. So what I want is two solid throws and a throw blanket, kind of like what I did for the fall bedroom refresh. And then I had my drop cloth pillow in front. So this is a little bit brighter than I wanted. I was hoping for a more burgundy red, but they have the matching throw pillows and the cable knit blanket. So I think I might have to go with this. I just don't want anything this neutral and this is also beautiful but I don't want to go with green either. So I'll put two pillows in the cart and the throw blanket. I hope it's big enough to go across my bed. It says it is 50 by 60 so we will see. You see how bright this is? I really want some burgundy berries, but we still have to go to the Christmas section. Oh, I love these sprigs. 
these are five dollars i think i'm going to grab a few of these because i want some tall sprigs to put in my jar so i'm gonna grab a few of these add them to my cart let's see what else they have while we're here we might as well look Ooh, these trees are nice here's a smaller one this one's 25 i bet the bigger one is 40. There's some in some little baskets. They have lots of throw blankets. I mean, throw pillows. Look at this one with the little Christmas trees. Look at this little tree throw pillow. It's $15. They have lots of bottle brush trees. I see they have some that are uh, more natural looking. They got those and these right here. And then they also have these that I think are really cute y'all look at these gold sprigs i kind of love this i don't know if it's going to um work in my master but if you were looking for some gold accents i love this this it's only five dollars for this sprig of gold every time i turn around i see something else that i really like look at these bottle brush trees and gold and silver they are really large. They are $20. I like that they have the bulbs in them already. Here's some gold ones. Let's see what's over here. Here's some little Christmas wreaths. I actually think I need one. I like this one. I feel like it's kind of the greenery that I have in my room. I think these wreaths are $10. So I'm going to add this one to my cart. Okay, now I'm in the actual Christmas section and it's looking pretty empty, so they haven't put everything out yet. Um, so, I don't know, I'm just going to work with what they have, see if I can find anything. Y'all, look at these little bales. You get this whole pack of them. I think there's nine in there. It's $10. It's a garland, but you can definitely uh, use this for DIYs. That's really cute. I always love these little birds that Target puts out. I got rid of all of mine. I had, you know, a ton of them to put around the house. Ooh, I like these little flocked trees. These are $15. And then y'all, they have these velvet reindeer. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. These are green. And then I saw down here, they had some in brown. That is beautiful. And I also saw they had some full brass i wish they had those deer in brass i would absolutely scoop those up it is 25 dollars for this little brass tapered candle they have some bigger ones down here these are hollow and definitely you know not as good quality these are 20 dollars each look at this wreath this is different if you like the natural look You'll like this wreath. Let's see, it is $40. They have a bunch of replicas of those ceramic Christmas trees. They have them in green and white. And look at these phones. That is precious. I am tempted to get one for Wren so she could call Santa. They are $25. Love those. Here's some little Santa Clauses and Mrs. Claus. Those are cute. Oh, I like this one this wreath it is ten dollars for this wreath and they got a bunch more christmas trees but i don't need christmas trees i need some red berries and i did not see any let's go look over there this is the rest of the christmas section so as you can see it is still pretty bare but i do see some berries right here and they are the burgundy color that I want so I think I'm going to pick up like three of them you can't go wrong with these there's 30 of them picks in here and they are five dollars each let's see what else they have okay you see how bright these are that's not what I want I want the burgundy ones I don't think any of this greenery is anything that I'm going to need oh what is this Oh, a little kissing ball. I actually need one of these to put on top of my candlestick on my dresser. I'm going to grab all of this. So I got all this from the bedding section. I got these two little trees from the dollar spot. But you see the difference? Like, I really wanted some bedding and some pillows in this deep burgundy color. But this is all 
that they have so we are gonna make it work so i'm gonna go check out and i will see y'all tomorrow morning and we will finish decorating this room it is the next day and i have got the room done y'all it looks beautiful however i mean the red is the same as what i had before so i'm not loving it i was kind of worried about it but in the store you know i thought i thought it could work but now that i see it all together it is not i just want something darker maybe not this dark something in between this and the bright red and when i'm decorating my house and my home the way i think about it is there's so many options out there there is no point in settling for anything you do not love so we have a whole month and a half before christmas so i feel like i can find something that will be perfect for this room so if you have seen a pillow set and a blanket set in the color that i am going for either online or in store definitely leave a comment below so i can go check it out because i'm on the hunt i'm gonna find something that is 100 percent what i want i also ended up finding a burgundy berry garland in my diy sash i think it was actually originally from target so I added that to my garland up there. And then I also added some more of those berries that we picked up last night at Walmart. I think that I will always have a bed like this with a shelf at the top because I love how that looks. Y'all definitely let me know what y'all think. And for my fall bedroom makeover, people were concerned that that was hitting our head, but it's, real, it's high enough that it is not an issue at all. It is pure decoration and it does not get in the way of us sleeping or sitting in our bed. I also ended up framing out my beautiful canvas. I felt like the fall one, I think because it was so dark, it didn't bother me at all that it didn't have a frame. But this one, I think with the white canvas and then my white walls, I just needed that little bit of separation. So what I did was I just cut down some wood that I had on hand. I stained it with that antiquing wax. I have that antiquing wax all over my room. Actually, like my little end tables and stuff are stained with that. So it kind of ties that all together. And then I simply just nailed it to the wood that is already inside the canvas. So definitely very simple, very easy. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. And I also got the rest of the room decorated. So let me show y'all around and show y'all what I did. Mainly, I just added in lots of Christmas trees and lots of Christmas greenery. So if you are going to invest in one thing, that's something that I would invest in because I continue to use this greenery and these Christmas trees year after year. I actually thrifted this beautiful berry Christmas tree at the Goodwill bin. So I have one here. And I also have one on the nightstand over there. This one, I wanted to lift it up a little bit more. So I actually just stuck it on top of a vintage spool and that worked perfectly. I have a few of these little Christmas trees around the room. I actually got them at Walmart the other day. They were $3 and I just thought they were really cute to just, you know, add around again, something I can use every year. This was one of my DIY projects definitely brass for christmas i love adding in those little brass figurines and then there's those spools that i got um in amarillo also have those spread around the room and then if you come down here i actually use the curtain <laughs> to fill up this basket and i put my cute little snowman pillow and y'all know i love an old picture with a christmas tree in it and just right here next to my nightstand i just put this book for a pop of red and then that green picture that I had made in college. This is my husband's side, so I wanted to keep it pretty simple, pretty clean. So I just have piles of books and Christmas trees right here. And then this is actually a clock that I have on the website, but I thought that he would enjoy it until it sold and he does. It actually works. He was playing with it last night. And then right here, I just have a basket. Inside the basket is a bunch of books that he likes to read, but you know, they're not cute. So we covered them up and I just stuck some Christmas trees in there. This is definitely my favorite area to decorate. 
Do y'all remember when I went to the Goodwill bins and found this beautiful suitcase? I just put it right here. It looked perfect for fall. It looks perfect for Christmas. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave it here year around. It was also the perfect area to hang those beautiful ice skates. And I just switched out the fall throw blanket for a Christmas one. I added a little bow, a little greenery. I am loving that sprig of greenery I got from Target, the $5 one. So if y'all are looking for some great Christmas greenery, I highly suggest that one. So yeah, pretty much all I did was I took down the fall greenery and just replaced it with Christmas. Very easy, very simple. And then for my little seating area, I just took that other curtain and I am just using it as a throw blanket just for a little bit of that Christmas red. And then the shelves, I kind of decorated with what I had and I'm not completely in love with it. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for more things when I'm thrifting and I'll probably be kind of rearranging this little setup when I find other things to add to it. In this area, all I did was just take out all the fall greenery and just add in a Christmas greenery. I didn't change out any of my decorations. I didn't move anything. I just changed out the greenery and that just totally transformed the space. I love it at this angle where you can see all the stuff on the wall through the mirror. So looks so good until you get right here y'all see what i mean it's just it's just too bright all right guys i truly hope that y'all enjoy today's video and that y'all are inspired to decorate your own spaces for christmas this was definitely fun we did some unboxing we did a target run you know we used some old stuff got some new stuff and I will definitely be adding more things to this room as I find the perfect items. And don't forget if you are in the market to purchase a new mattress, to go check out birchliving.com slash Julie's Designs and they are giving my viewers $400 off and two free pillows. And I'll have a link to all of that in the description below. You know, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what was your favorite part of today's makeover. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.